all know how bad the black mama can be and how nervous they are. But when they get really big, they can stand three feet off the ground. They can strike further and they can move faster. They strike on movement. And unlike other snakes, its deadly bites often land on the torso or head. This is not a snake you want hiding on a university campus. Even though it's just eaten, it's also lying in the hot sun. This means it's going to be charged up and ready to fire. It's time to move now. All right, right there. Stay, right. watch, where's his head? More to your left. Okay. Can't. Well, he's coming towards me, you, wait. You. Where's his head? We can see the snake, but we don't know where the head is. That's the dangerous end. That's what we need to try and find out. But to do that, we have to walk into the bush. Oh, it's come back. Where is it? My head's here. Oh, oh my God, it's huge. I've got it's huge. It's eating loads of stuff. Right, just hold really it there. Cramp. I'm good, I'm really good. Right. You go that side, the right, the head, James, the head's near you. Be careful. Right, you got it there? I'm good where I am. You move. Stay, stay, stay. This thing is, I was going to regurgitate, I think. Oh, oh. It's trying to regurgitate the food because it's scared now and it wants to get away. However, if I try and get the snake behind their head with the tongs, it can't regurgitate the food, so it's a bit of a tricky one. It's a horrible thing for the snake to have to regurgitate. There's, there's too many snake, people here, there's too many kids here. We can't leave this snake behind. Just wait for a second, just oh, get that it. out. A shame. Watch. Just it's hold it. Back my it's way. going back the other way. Coming back my way. Susie's got a good grip on the body, but the bushes are in my way, so I can't get my tongs around the snake's head. Okay. If you can imagine that this is the black mama's head here, the food item is here. There's no way I can go in and grab the snake behind the head. So I decide, between the two of us, that we're going to let the snake spit the food out and then capture it. So it's a game of cat and mouse here. We're holding a deadly black mamba in its mid-body part, and I'm just waiting with my tongs to get in there as fast as possible once it spits the kitten out. This is quite tough. Can you just hold it there for a second? I'm really good. I'm fine. I'm going to release. It. OK. I've got it. Let him do his thing. I'm holding. Oh, cool. Can't take my eyes off it, because he's going to try and get away as soon as we... Oh, he's him. trying to spit it out. Let him see to. he's going to. He's going, he's going to. to. You can see there, guys. Oh. I've got to hold the snake a little bit. Thing is, Simon can't catch him up behind the neck now. No, I won't be able to hold it. Because that restrict him doing this. Trying to get the cat out. He's trying to. He's trying to. Oh, sorry, snake. Do you feel really is it bad? Is a cat or is it? Babe, let your grip off it. Yeah, look, something's coming yeah, out. Yeah, something's coming out now. Simon, get your grip off I, it. I'm it's only slightly doing it. It's uh, fine. It's a kitten. It's a kitten. We're nearly there. I'm focusing on this black mamba. I know for a fact, once it spits this kitten out, all hell's going to break loose. This is the calm before the storm. Oh, look. There uh... we go. OK, it's twisted in the tongs. Right, let go of your tongs. I'm good. OK, no, wait. I'm going to let go. Yeah, right. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah, it's right on my feet. Uh, me, right, wait. I've got it. OK, I've got oh. it too. That thing just missed my foot by just an my inch. Foot. And yes, as soon as it spat it out, all hell broke loose. That mamba flew round, way too close for my liking. We both nearly got bitten. Because a huge snake like that, you've got two tongs on it, and there's still four or five foot of snake that came flying around. Very dangerous situation to get yourself into.